Hello everyone, it's Ed with Dual Brain MTG with the current reprint machine gun that Wizards is firing into our faces. It's tough to find value in Magic the Gathering currently. Let's discuss some of the places that are more likely to maintain just a little bit longer than everywhere else. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. So remember everyone, of course, this is not financial advice. If you're talking Magic the Gathering, you're already talking about losing your money <laughs> for cardboard, okay? So let's just get that out of the way. Things that, there are cards that are easier to reprint than others. There are cards that you can just throw in any old set there are cards that are difficult to do that to. There are themes that are difficult to put into other places. There are styles that are difficult to put into other places. So that being said, there are also, you know, if they were to revisit some of these styles, they would do it with different cards. So think about stuff like the Mythic Edition. Ravnica, Ravnica, Legions, or wait, Guilds of Ravnica, no, no, Ravnica, Legions, uh, and the other one that's same time. Ravnica, Ravnica, Ravnica. <laughs> Ravnica Mythic Edition and War of the Spark Mythic Edition. 10 to 15,000 of these were made. They caused such a problem for Wizards too that I highly doubt they're going to revisit these things and reprint the same exact cards in the same exact way. So those little boxes with, uh, you know, the, the eight packs and then the other packs of the current set, those things, I think, sealed. Hmm. Decent, decent sealed long term. They're only going up. There's only a certain amount of them. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee that because Wizards can reprint anything at any time and they have proven that they are liable to do so. Another thing that I believe that they aren't going to revisit and if they revisit and reprint, they're not going to do it in the same way. A la Zendikar Rising is the OG masterpieces. Hey, I just see them, if they were going to do that again, they might do it in a slightly different border, but call it the same thing like they did, you know? And I don't know. I, I, I feel like those are solid, the OG masterpieces, like the soul ring invention damn that's such a sweet card like those inventions come on talk about gorgeous and uh top of the line right there right like that's a freaking product kaladesh inventions freaking awesome okay and and then you have stuff like uh universes beyond ips like ikoria i just don't see how they're gonna make much more godzilla stuff you know i and if they do, again, are they going to do the same cards in the same art? I don't know. That, that one's not as, you know, the anime Planeswalkers, maybe they will make some more of them. But, like, they were so rare and everything that, I don't know, if they did it again, they would just screw it up, right? They're going to reprint those cards, but in the same art style i don't know i don't i don't know if they do that you know what i mean and if they were going to make more anime planeswalkers wouldn't they make new planeswalkers in that anime style it just seems like i don't know wizards keeps plowing forward like even when they continue abusing a style and abusing a reprint they just keep on going forward they don't really go back so often like this magic 30th was kind of a one-off with how back they went you know what i'm saying then you have Dominaria United. I mean, shit, those those things are crazy. There's legends cards in these. There's only going to be less over time. It's going to be one of the few ways to get legends cards in the future. I don't know why. I mean, look, I know why they're they're cheap. They're the set isn't that great, but over time, hey, these things don't count them out. Uh, Brothers War, the first time you can get serialized cards in the boxes plus Transformers, uh, I mean, especially putting those two things together again, I don't know when that's going to happen. So, uh, you know, I like the Mythic Editions, the Masterpieces, like the Dominaria United, the anime, Planeswalkers, these types of things. 
well, maybe not the anime Planeswalkers, but specifically the Mythic Editions, Masterpieces, and Dominaria United. Like, that's limited stuff that I don't see, you know, like, I'm just saying, there's things that are more difficult for them to redo the idea of. And when you start to think in terms like that, you can find mm, not safe places from their reprint machine gun, but from, you know, places that are just better than others and won't be visited by wizards as often and in the same way think about art too like um therese nielsen art is part of this whole thing you know they're not gonna reprint that some of the art that they banned now you know so yeah there's there's ways to look at this and i think one of the ways of looking at it is knowing how much Wizards is going to reprint stuff and and try to squeeze money out of people, but also understanding that they're going to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Remember to like and subscribe. Hmm. Check out uh, my Patreon channel memberships if you can buy any cards today. I have a TCG Player affiliate link in the description. Click it. Shop like normal. Free. Easy. Helps out a lot. Well, thank you very much. And have a great day, everyone. Peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?